A local MLA says he was shocked and deeply saddened by the sudden passing of Jim Prentice. Dr. Richard Starkey says he got to know the former Alberta Premier quite well in recent years. You know, he was deeply devoted to public service. Uh, he felt that public service was a, a calling, uh, that it was a noble calling. He was extremely uh, complimentary towards me, uh, you know, in front of a room full of uh, municipal, rural municipal leaders. And, you know, he did, again, didn't need to be that way, but he was. Starkey adds, whether you were in the same party or not, there was a great respect for Prentice. You know, especially when you consider that, uh, you know, after spending many, many years uh, in public service, uh, you know, Jim was very much looking forward to spending time with, uh, with Karen and with his daughters and grandchildren, and uh, that that time now has been uh, cut tragically short. Lloydminster RCMP has released its latest most wanted list. 22-year-old Jesse Reeder is 6 feet tall, weighs 166 pounds, with brown eyes and brown hair. He is wanted for possession of stolen property over $5,000 and for possession of stolen property under $5,000. 28-year-old Jesse Wandler is 5 foot 6, weighs 145 pounds, and has brown hair and blue eyes. He is wanted for operating a, a motor vehicle dangerous to the public. Icy road conditions didn't stop people from attending the Everything Quilted Quilt Show today. The Lloydminster Log Cabin Quilting Guild's biannual show has slowly grown over the past few years, giving enthusiasts a taste of a, a chance at a craft and appreciate each, other, each other's work. Josh Ryan has more. Everything Quilted is the Lloydminster Quilting Guild's biggest event every two years, bringing people from around the city and area to weigh in on the quality of new designs. Whoever comes has a ballot, they cast their ballot, and that will determine the winner. They're magnificent, like really. Hard to even fathom that they've sold every little piece. They're so nice. While there are door prizes and raffles to help fundraise for the Guild's group retreats and workshops, the show is really a public forum of their monthly meetings, where they share their work and ideas. We draw inspiration from one another. You get big ideas and, you know, you have a quilt show and because everything is so diversified, you see it and you say, oh yeah, I have to do that. The Guild is also a reflection of how quilting has changed over several generations. Most of the stuff at one time was for, for usefulness. Now it's an artistic expression, it's creativity. Most of their efforts are spent creating items for charity, such as when quilts were provided for Fort McMurray refugees this spring. Sometimes we do quilt, a large quilt, and we'll donate it to a society that they can raffle off to make money for that society. Last year we were doing um, tea tables for the new LCC, Lloydminster Continuing Care, and we needed some tablecloths, so I contacted them and they made us 15 tablecloths for the tables there. And that creativity and community spirit is being passed on to the next generation who are encouraged to submit their own work. We give little prizes to them and we encourage our children to take up the hobby and uh, they seem to really enjoy having their, their uh, efforts shown. Josh Ryan, New Cap News. The Lakeland Rustlers basketball teams wrapped up their home opening weekend series with the Keanu Huskies. With more, here's Moses Woldu. We'll begin with the ladies, who came out Friday night with the 64-62 victory over the Keanu Huskies. On Saturday afternoon, it was a different story. The wrestlers could not handle the Huskies forwards, ultimately leading to a double-digit lead for the Huskies with six minutes to go. The wrestlers did find some open looks with Nike Lee here cutting to the basket for the easy lay-in, but those plays were few and far between. Down by seven, things started to unravel for the wrestlers. Mana Inocenzio goes hard to the hoop, but it's called for the offensive foul. Wrestlers head coach Chris King, not happy to say the least, he would get tossed from the contest. Everything else was a moot point as the wrestlers dropped to one and one on the season, 66-55 Huskies, the final. If I was a fan, I'd ask for my money back. It was just shitty basketball. I thought we turned the ball over uh, like a hot potato tonight. It was crazy how many turnovers we had. So that's something we need to address. And obviously, uh, 
you know, we have a kid missing with injury. We have a kid missing for personal issues. So we we're very small tonight, and they uh, they took advantage of it. I thought they beat us up inside, and especially on the offensive glass, they really killed us. Today, I just think we really got out rebound, and they had too many offensive rebounds on us, and too many second chances to get to get the league, and it was hard. Practice has to be really intense next week, and we really have to go hard. Meanwhile, the men opened up Friday with a 76-70 victory with no Rico Joseph or P.J. Gartner, who were both sidelined until the end of the first semester. We'll go to the third quarter, trailing by four. Travis Blacker gets a nice little kind roll on the rim. Uh, the next possession, he will set up for the three-pointer and nail it. Rustler is taking the lead 48-47, although those celebrations would quickly be quieted down after Terrell Murdoch goes down hard, clutching his ankle. He was in some major discomfort, did not return for this game. To the fourth quarter, the teams would trade jabs. You'll, you'll see Tay Holiday getting the put back to fall. But with 16 seconds to go, a defensive miscue leads to this three as the Huskies now take the lead 65-64. Keanu Wood eventually salt this one away in the dying seconds. They win it 68-64 the final. Carter with our, our uh, shot selection at times, especially in the, at the end of the game. And, you know, we had a, tough, a couple of, of tough calls. We had an offensive foul that went against us. Then um, uh, we had a three-pointer on it out of bounds that, you know, we should switch. If anything, we, you know, we give up a two. It's a tie game. But uh, those are the breaks sometimes. Uh, like I told the team, it's, it's on me. When, when we win, it's them. And when we lose, it's, it's me. As a team, we have to know when to come together and keep our head and play hard through it all. Through the, through the refs, not giving us the calls that we expect to get and all that. What a close game. Well, that's your look at sports. Josh is in next with your weather forecast.